We are less than two months out from the beginning of quarter three, which means Alpha 2 could really be starting at any point in the next two to five months. With that being said, there is a lot of hype for what I am calling the ultimate turning point for Ashes of Creation. Nearly eight years of development, two alphas later, and a battle royale, we are finally to the point where we can step foot into the real Vera for the first time. No alpha island, no map specifically designed for a battle royale, actual zones in the world map with those systems we were all promised years ago finally coming to life within. But with all that hype comes huge expectations. Honestly, I've never really felt so much hype behind an alpha to the point where people are talking about it like it's the launch of the game. But unfortunately, we are still at least a few years out on that. There will be a lot of eyes on Ashes of Creation this time around though. Over 100,000 players have signed up last we heard to play Alpha 2, and that number could have greatly increased within the ending of pre-order packs. We know that big time streamers will be looking at it. We know that the content creator program is supposed to be launching with Alpha 2, so it's going to be a massive moment for the game for those first few weeks of testing. I imagine that the hype will eventually die off again a bit when people realize what Alpha 2 really is. Creative Director Steven Sharif has said this several times now, but Alpha 2 is not a feature complete game. It's not going to be as fleshed out as Throne and Liberty or The War Within Beta. It's not going to be like New World's closed beta that we had three years ago. It's not even going to come close to any of these. Even though you will see Ashes painted everywhere in the MMO spotlight the moment Alpha 2 comes on. Even those players watching will see things like this. Bugs are going to be a big thing in Alpha 2. You're going to see them all over the place. You're going to see things not functioning properly, things incomplete. It is what it is. It's a true Alpha, and it's what Intrepid wants feedback on. It, what the whole point of this Alpha is, is so that people can report bugs and provide this feedback to make Ashes of Creation a better game. Server and character wipes are expected, although Steven stated in the last development livestream, their goal is to not have character wipes. So there is that chance that the character you make on day one could be live, on the last day of Alpha 2, but I wouldn't hold your breath, because there could be any number of situations that arise that requires Intrepid to pull the plug and wipe characters. They could encounter bugs that call for it, or they could decide they need a lot more testing on early game, and if not enough people are making new characters, well then you could potentially say goodbye to your old one as they force you to play a new one, because again, this is testing for the game. It's not meant for you to be rushing to end game to do end game content when it's not even there yet. Speaking of content, you won't see even close to the majority of the world map at the start. We've only seen the Riverlands in the desert in gameplay on stream so far, at least on Unreal Engine 5. We've seen a bit of a snow biome at the beginning of the UE5 update. We've seen the tropics in Alpha 1. So we've seen a small bit of what other parts of the world will look like, but we haven't come close to the actual full world map. And Intrepid hasn't even locked in what will be there at the start of Alpha 2. And I honestly don't want to see the entire map. I would love for them to be some surprise left come launch. From these zones we do have available though, they won't be content complete. Alpha 2 zones are said to be 60 to 70% complete before it's Alpha 2 ready. And once they hit that point, I imagine you'll see them added as content patches. You won't see 64 classes, you may not even see the 8 primary archetypes ready to go come A2 launch, and you aren't going to see end game content, just progression up to 35 to start. You'll see things that represent end game content in Alpha 2 that aren't actually end game at this point for testing purposes such as freeholds which come live will be level 50 testing. You might see some dungeons that maybe are meant to be end game but the levels scaled back just for the Alpha 2 environment. Obviously as time goes on in Alpha more content will be added via patches. Intrepid will drop Saint in as they're ready, getting more focused testing on those specific features when they feel it's needed. And we will all watch as the world of Vera slowly comes to life with the envision that Intrepid Studios has. But we will have a much better idea of what to expect in a few months as Intrepid stated they will probably do a live stream to focus on Alpha 2 features. Going into Alpha 2 and beyond though will also be a good time for a lot of players to decide, is this the game for me? Ashes of Creation isn't your next World of Warcraft. It's not being built to be the the wow killer everybody talks about, and it's not going to be anything like Guild Wars 2 or New World either. While they may have a couple similar systems, that isn't the goal here. If you as an MMO player didn't enjoy Arc Age or Lineage, well then you may not enjoy Ashes. If you didn't play those games, well then there's still a chance you might. Arc Age and Lineage are what has inspired Ashes of Creation, and while they seem to also focus on evolving the genre and putting their own stamp on it, at its roots, a lot of the systems you find in Ashes of Creation are similar but updated for the new generation. It's not trying to take the top of the market by any means, and although that wouldn't be too hard right now because there's not a lot of good MMOs out there, their goal is really to give you that classic old school MMO feel. It's very guild-centric, 
It's meant to be social oriented, and while playing solo is always an option, it's going to be much easier if you have a guild to help you progress through. There is minimal fast travel, no group or dungeon finder, quests aren't going to be pointed out to you with giant markers and a path lit up for you to find your way. It's going to require you to stop and think and plan your path and forge your own story, which will happen over months and years, not days and weeks. You won't know for sure, obviously, if Ashes of Creation is the game for you until you really experience it. The hype behind it will make Alpha to a huge event. It will put launch day numbers way up there, with the inevitable MMO drop-off we see with player numbers a few weeks later with most games. But if you're going in expecting Ashes of Creation to be the next WoW or the next Guild Wars, if you're expecting Alpha 2 to be this feature-complete event used more as a way to build free advertising and publicity for a few months before launch, it's not going to happen, and you're going to be extremely disappointed when you see what is revealed towards the second half of the year. But most importantly, if you're on the fence about Ashes or unsure if this is a game for you, stick around, watch your favorite content creators, or play it for yourself when the time comes to make that decision, because even if it's not what you expect it to be, it could surprise you with some fun you may have breaking through that social anxiety to join a guild, siege a castle, and have one hell of a time doing it.